Chapter 1. Car Accident Scene. You are listening at FameTV.info. A young lady could be seen riding a scooter on the roads, late in the evening. She had a pink helmet over her head for protection. The road was quiet, but she was not scared even though she found it somehow off. This particular road was not always busy around 7 o'clock p.m., but some cars still pass by around that time. As she rode her scooter, she could see a blaring light from the vehicle ahead. She could tell the vehicle had stopped in the middle of the road. But because of the lights from the headlamps, she couldn't see things clearly. But as she approached the car to some close distance, she almost screamed in shock. She discovered that she has met with a hit-and-run incident. The bonnet of the car she was staring at was damaged beyond repair. The windscreen of the car was shattered. And in the driver's seat, she saw a gray dot-haired man with his face down on the steering. She was so scared as she got down from her scooter and approached the damaged vehicle. She almost screamed out of shock when she stepped on the broken glasses at the scene. When she got to the driver's side, she discovered the old man still had his eyes opened, and was bleeding from his head. And he was too weak to say anything. He managed to glance at the young lady and made light movements with his fingers. The young lady had her mouth covered with her hands as she stared at the old man in shock. Just now when the old man looked at her with his bloodied face, he looked scary. Now coming back to her senses, the young lady muttered in an incoherent tone as she took out her phone from the pocket of her jacket. That's right. I did I need to dot to call the ambu dot lance. She input a short string of numbers and dialed it. She was so scared while dialing the number, and she could feel chills in her spine. After reporting the emergency and giving out the location, the young lady closed her cell phone and returned it into her pocket before rushing back to the car. Seeing that the old man's eyes were still open, she waved her hands in his view as she called out to him with a frantic facial expression on her face. Hello, sir. Are you okay? Can you hear me? She asked in a scared and worried tone. The old man stared at her, but his vision was blurry, and he was slowly losing strength. But to show that he heard her voice, even though it was faint, he moved his fingers. From what the old man could make out from her looks, he could tell that she was a young lady in her early twenties. Thank goodness. The young lady said, slightly relieved. My name is Jolly, and I have called the ambulance ambulance, they will be here in five minutes. Please hold on. Jiali said to him in a strong tone. Even though she was scared out of her wits, she still needed to keep the man conscious till the ambulance arrived. At least, growing up with her mother. Nurse and being at the local hospital most times, has taught her a lot of things. The old man was quite strong to still be conscious after the accident that happened over ten minutes ago. I mean, considering how serious the accident was, and his age, he should have passed out on the spot, or minutes ago. But he was still conscious, even though he was currently struggling to stay conscious to await the medics. A minute later as Jia Li was keeping the old man company so he wouldn't fall asleep before the medics arrived, she heard the sound of the ambulance, and she smiled with hope in her eyes. Sir, the ambulance is here. Jia Li announced the old man as her eyes radiated joy. The old man who was almost slipping into the realm of unconsciousness, reacted when he saw her actions of saying something and pointing in another direction where he saw the incoming ambulance. Right in this state, the old man couldn't hear any sounds, as his senses were slowly fading away. He couldn't even hear the hurried footsteps of the medics as they arrived before him, but he could still see their blurry images as they checked him out before moving him to the ambulance. As they were busy carrying the man out, a brown leather wallet fell out from his back pocket. Jia Li saw the wallet and picked it up before chasing after them. Are you his family member? One of the medics asked her as the others laid the old man down inside the ambulance. No. Jia Li answered softly. Seeing how worried she was about the accident victim, one of the medics who was a female said to them. Allow her to join us. With that, Jia Li was allowed into the ambulance. 
But then, she glanced at her scooter and the scene. Don't worry, the police will keep your scooter safe, and they will come to the hospital to get a statement from you. The female medic said to her as one of them placed an oxygen mask on the old man. Looking at the old man, Jia Li was a bit scared. It seems like he not only got a head injury. Jia Li said to herself as she took a good look at the old man while the medics got to work. Then, her sight moved outside the vehicle, and she saw the police vehicles approaching the accident scene. Jia Li felt pity for the old man, because she lost her grandfather in a hit-and-run accident few years ago. That incident left a scar in her heart, because she was quite close to her old man. He was hit by a drunken driver in the evening when he was out for a stroll. Her old man died, but the drunken driver survived. Irony of Life Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.